First Alert Weather with Weathercaster Tatum Larson. We're taking a look at our Joshua Tree Cam right now. It's looking like a beautiful, mostly clear morning. We do have some passing clouds overhead there. Seeing that we are having some moisture in the atmosphere, just hanging around there before our gradual drying trend really kicks in, but it makes for a beautiful view. And speaking of views, this is gonna be your best chance of getting the best view of tonight's meteor shower. So head over here if you're interested in checking that out tonight. Now, the reason why we have these passing clouds and why you might feel that humidity is because we still have moisture left in the atmosphere but luckily there is this dry air mass or all of this orange right here that you see moving on screen here moving in into the valley which means that our gradual drying trend is going to be beginning but before that we could see a chance of some passing showers luckily not on the valley floor but in our high elevation areas now around two o'clock this afternoon we could see some storm activity very light storm activity over Big Bear possibly in the high desert and we are seeing some convection near La Quinta but if you see anything it's going to be very light, maybe a few raindrops on your windshield, but very unlikely. All valley wide, we're likely to say fairly dry again. Most of that storm activity is going to be for the high desert, if any, and it'll move uh, past our north or further towards our north later this afternoon into the evening hours. You're really just going to feel the moisture. In fact, you're probably going to feel sticky to start your Saturday. Saturday. Right now we're in the 60s and 50s across the valley, seeing 61 in Palm Springs, 59 in Palm Desert, and 58 in Indio. So it's feeling humid outside, but very similar to yesterday, we are going to be drying out closer to the lower 50s this afternoon. And that drying trend is just going to continue as that air mass that we talked about continues to move into the valley. So overnight into Sunday, you're probably going to feel the difference. And by Sunday afternoon, uh, we're going to be feeling that our dew points are gonna be sinking into the 40s. So it'll be more comfortable for Sunday. But in the meantime, that extra moisture is helping cooling us down. Seeing that we're starting in the upper 80s this morning, rising up into the 90s by 10 o'clock, into those low 100s by this afternoon, seeing a high of 104 by three o'clock this afternoon. So great news for those heading out to Splash House, just warm enough to be able to enjoy some time in the pool and cook and cool off, but not too hot where it's not feeling great outside. Similar case for tomorrow, staying below our seasonal average, but Bianca, I am tracking a warming trend into the one teens once again by next